NBC7's What's Up is sponsored by Bill Howe Plumbing, Heating, and Air, Flood and Restoration. We know how. I'm Greg Bledsoe, and this is your morning update for Wednesday, May 27th. A pretty promising update on our local coronavirus numbers. The positive test rate continues to trend down. Our latest daily figure was just 2.1%, the lowest we've seen in a little while. There were 85 new cases reported Tuesday out of 3,900 new tests. That's where that 2.1% comes from. There are now 6,882 total cases here in the county. 249 people have died. However, the good news is no new deaths have been reported since Saturday. NBC7 has confirmed a new case of coronavirus among a TSA worker at the San Diego airport. TSA told us that the employee worked in checked baggage operations and did not have any contact with travelers. They also say that that employee has not been at work since May 16th. Well, churches have been given the green light to go ahead and by the state and the county to start services again today. State guidelines require that everyone's temperature be taken before going inside of a house of worship and that attendance has to be limited to 25% of the building's capacity or 100 people, whichever the, one of those numbers is smaller. And that's been a sticking point because for a lot of larger churches, they say they don't want to have to turn people away. So some of those larger churches say they're just going to stay closed for now anyways. Hair salons and barber shops here in San Diego County can now reopen starting today. And under the new restrictions, stylists and customers both have to wear face masks while getting their hair cut or colored. They both have to have their temperatures checked before going inside. Social distancing means fewer clients inside at any given time. Also rigorous cleaning after every client. Also salons will not be allowed to perform any services on the face. So that means eyebrow waxing, lash extensions or beard trims. Scripps Health is now reopening three outpatient clinics that have been closed since early March. Those include Scripps Coastal Medical Centers in Escondido and Solana Beach, and also Scripps Clinic in Santee. We've also learned that Scripps is resuming long-time critical surgeries at five of its local hospitals this week. And SeaWorld is meeting with county leaders today to talk about a reopening plan. The park's hoping to reopen by July 1st. Of course, there would be increased health and safety measures there as well. And we will continue to bring you the very latest news on the pandemic here on NBC7.com as, well as, as well as on TV. You can also learn more on our podcast every single day if you want to check this out. It's Today in San Diego. We talk about the day's biggest headlines and how they're affecting the community. So check it out. We do it in about five minutes or less every day. Stay safe and have a nice day, everyone. NBC7's What's Up is sponsored by Bill Howe Plumbing, Heating, and Air, Flood, and Restoration. Bill Howe adapts with the needs of the community. That's why we offer virtual estimates, a safe and easy alternative for in-home estimates on repairs for plumbing, heating and air, and flood services. Because we know how.